morning, kids. This is Karen Lee coming to you from my living room in South Berwick, um, where I'm doing Karen Reads. Um, today's book is called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lavelle. Patty Lavelle was a kindergarten teacher for 14 years and now teaches first grade. Uh, the illustrator is David Catrow, spelled just how you would imagine, C-A-T-R-O-W. He's done over 70 children's books. If you want to Google him, you get to see a picture of him and many other wonderful, funny, and gorgeous illustrations. Okay, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did and she stood so tall she stood on her hand a handstand on the banister of the stairway really showing off how tall she could stand molly lou mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them she didn't mind her grandmother had told her smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Miley Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered, but she didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. You can see, first of all, she's carrying a huge stack of dishes over here. And then she drops them all and they're all broken, but she doesn't give up. It says, so she did, she did. She's on a unicycle on a high rope wire and she's juggling breakable things. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her friends and to her grandmother. And she started a new school. You can see her standing, looking up into the school bus. She is tiny. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. And the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. (laughs) 
on the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten of them high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. She not only stacked the pennies, she stacked them end to end. The most difficult way to stack them. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Mary Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandmother. Dear Grandma, I want to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And there's her tiny little grandmother. Okay, great book. I know some of you celebrated uh, Passover Seder this week. Uh, there's Easter coming up to celebrate. I hope that those are blessed days for all of you. And I will see you again next week. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.